Okay, do you remember Marky Mark? That's a long time ago. Boogie Nights, movies like that. He's been in a whole bunch of great movies. We're talking about Mark Wahlberg, and he stars in a brand new film now where he plays a fellow who wants to become a priest. It's called Father Stu. Your son is about to make a huge mistake. Well, I'm going to be a priest. For Halloween. A remarkable true story. Mark Wahlberg plays Stu, a failing prize fighter, wannabe Hollywood actor, drowning in disappointment until he discovers faith. Father Stu is full of surprises. You don't know you're fussing with this truck? I'm a son. I'm just borrowing it. I reckon it's a few months worth of cleanups on aisle four to pay off a DUI income. Obviously, like most kids, I, I wanted to be an athlete. Um, but, uh, you know, I've been focusing on my faith for quite some time. And so I always wanted to figure out, A, why I was being so blessed and so fortunate. And then, of course, what was I expected to do with that? And when this movie came along, that was the answer. It was really great to see Mel Gibson again. What was it like being with him and working with him? It was great. You know, it's uh, the father uh, role in this movie is such a great part. Here's a father who had dealt with the loss of a child at a very uh, young age and, you know, not really knowing how to cope with that. And then having an opportunity to to reconnect with his son and take care of him in a way that he never took care of him uh, later on in life was pretty amazing. So it's an it's an amazing father and son story. I'm being an actor. Oh, God. You don't belong with those L.A. folks. They're a bunch of fascist hippies. So Jackie Weaver plays your mom, and, and you want to go to Hollywood. She doesn't have very good things to say about Hollywood, does she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, she doesn't. You know, it's obviously from the outside looking in. It, they don't know what to expect. And, and right. Stu's a small-town guy, you know. I don't think she really wanted him to leave. She would have made any excuse to keep him home anyway. We've all been wrong, and we've all done some wrong. But he came to forgive us. I met a young lady today. I told her I was going to talk to you, and she almost started crying. And she says, would you please tell him that he had a great, great effect on me? He's why I joined the service. She joined the Air Force. Oh, I said, God what movie her. was it? She said, you know, The Lone, Lone Survivor. Survivor. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Well, you know, every opportunity that I get um, to thank our brave men and women for their service and their dedication to our country, I do. I was lucky enough to go to Afghanistan in 2010 and, you know, to see, you know, what they really do. And so, please, if you see her again, give her a big hug and a kiss from me. Last question. I'm in Cleveland. Do you know where I could get a good hamburger? I know we can get a good hamburger. I know we can get a good card, a good deal. And Ohio is a second home for me. So you could go right down there. Where the Cavs play, you get a burger, you can come down to Columbus, you can get a car, we'll get you in an RV, an Airstream, whatever you need. We love you, man. Hey, thanks a lot. Great to see you I again. can't wait. Thank you for welcoming me to, uh, and, and allowing me to call Cleveland a second home. I appreciate it. Mm. I'm praying for you, Bill. Don't you dare. You're violating my right. I love this guy, too. I was sitting in a Chicago restaurant one time with, with, with a bunch of guys, and a guy comes over and taps me on the show. I turn on it's Mark Wahlberg, and he's asking me about a recipe. He saw me doing a show called Hollywood and Dine. I used to do here out of Cleveland. It was, like, so funny. He used to watch that show. He's really into cooking and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, he's just a wonderful person, a great family guy. And this movie is a very interesting movie because it's a true story, and it's a very unlikely character or candidate to become a priest. And the movie's getting some great reviews right now. Mel Gibson is back, and a lot of folks are happy about that. So I would definitely recommend seeing Father Stew and it opens next Wednesday. So check it out.